Good morning, folks. The Earth saw yesterday's dire quake warning and didn't feel like waiting for 2018. We will run down what that warning meant and why, but we're starting today, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and finding a relatively calm but slightly ominous Earth-facing disk. Although no sunspots exist beneath the bright central fields, we've got plasma filaments, and coming from the left, they are large, spanning Earth-directed longitudes as they turn in, and those thin ropes present eruption threat for the next four days. Solar wind is currently weak and calm, but we expect an impact later tonight from the Earth-facing coronal hole stream. Broken record reminds you that seismicity peaks before it arrives, and we took two more big ones in New Caledonia, including a seven-pointer that drove a small 15-inch tsunami. Notable that QuakeWatch.net user Terrence Allen, one of last year's conference attendees who came to learn how to predict earthquakes, has won the contest by nailing the location of that seven-pointer. He wins the pool and tickets to our 2018 conference. One hopes this region is done, but in tracking a progression of 20 days of high seismic activity, one must ask where this is going and if it's done. Let's come back now to yesterday's article for some more in-depth understanding. So the Earth slows down, and then five years later, we get the big quakes. The slowdown happened in about 2011 through 2013, which means the period of high seismic action is about to commence. It's simple. The crust keeps going faster and overshoots the mantle and core below, but the cold slabs dipping down are connected, a direct pressure handle and current pathway for the release of energy. This abstract actually suggests 2017 should have been the start, but obviously, as you remember yesterday, it has been the quietest year on record. Quickly looking at some fire danger in central New Mexico and the greater New Valley of the Sun. Heavy rain and snow forecasted to the north, with warmth across much of the south, except that in the east there's moisture and in the west there's not. Folks, if you click my name to go to my channel page here on YouTube, we've updated the playlist for you down at the bottom. Sun series scrolls across the next to last line, and the last line is the different topical coverage areas. The earthquake and weather learning sections are fairly straightforward. Magnetic reversal and future outlook of Earth videos go into Your Place in the Universe along with the Where Are We Going series. Valuable Info has a lot of good observer starter material that most should know when watching these daily updates. And by the way, speaking of the Where Are We Going series, four parts here on YouTube and part five is now episode 90 of this year's Deeper Look section. Website members, I trust you'll like it as much as the first four. There are only 20 tickets left for Observing the Frontier 2018, and the hotel venue is filling up fast as well. Everything this community covers and more at layman's level from top members of the academic and research community. We've got the rest of the world's wind maps followed by shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and I hope to shake your hand in the desert. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.50 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.